Do you ever wish that you had something that you wish you had? Alright guys, fancy game of COD. 2-0! Come on! Oh for God's sake, I just died. Come on guys, you know you can't deal with my Kimbo style. What, COD, noobs? Take you on at Goldeneye. And do you ever wish that every gamer in the world would get along regardless of differences? <laughs> Look no further, for we have the answers to any question you may have. The University of Winchester Video Gamers Society. Fun and sociable. We play, share, and discuss vi- Well, need we really say it? The games and consoles that are brought to the sessions range from the old school to the modern. I think of video gaming as a uh, very fun activity and it, it can bring in a variety of people and I think it's a good way to uh, create a communal sense among some other individuals. It's a part of our life now and you, you kind of like say, oh they shouldn't exist because they like waste time and things like that. You've got to consider how massive the gaming industry and how many jobs that it supports and things like that as well. Millions of people who are uh, like earning a living and surviving on gaming. And then there's people on the other side who are making a living off reviewing games. And then there's just people who just get so much enjoyment playing them. They're never really going to disappear. Video games have uh, taught me to help expand my imagination. And it does have a very creative aspect, which I think it could help people um, such as myself to expand ideas for storytelling. The winner is... Layla! Woo! I remember coming across a few studies uh, uh, myself. One of them suggests that they can be uh, good for pain relief. I think there was some study done where doctors or surgeons or something had better hand-eye coordination after playing video games or something. Video games actually do have their benefits, despite the whole video games are bad propaganda that goes around. It's also starting to influence the film industry. So well, you got some, uh, what is it, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck -It, um, that was we shall not movie. mention the Mario film. Was it a movie? No. No, there wasn't. We believe in some good variety in, in terms of the content of, as it's uh, brought into the sessions. It depends on who's there, what's wanted to play, and the consoles that are in. So it's like, you bring, if you have a console, bring it in if you want, and if you have games, bring it in. Mm. If people want to play it, you play it. All we really expect from uh, m members is just basically just come, just uh, come, come along, have a fun time with us. Well, you say fun. There's multiple types of fun. There's gaming fun, like just like enjoying just the games. Just having a laugh. Yeah. It there's the, the there's the fun of like playing games with others and kind of having a laugh with them then. And then there's the sheer joy of Mickey taking. You buy a certain person Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, you, then spend, you then spend the Pieces. next five, ten minutes running around the entire building trying to escape him. I went out of the building. I went up those stairs. I had to. He was going to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like a big massive game of Mario Party and see who gets annoyed first. Because that thing breaks friendships. I don't care. That, that, that game is like... Like your Metal Gear rage times a million. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Mega Man is blasting up again. Go In no way does it matter how, uh, what skill level you are. Bring what you want, play what you want. If people want to join you, they will. If you want to join them, ask. Whether you're a fan of the old, or perhaps keen on keeping up to date with the new, then the University of Winchester Video Gamer Society may just be for you. It's a society for everyone, and remember, like cats, we have unlimited lives! No! I did well, bro, I did well. No! Uh, uh, Do you want to go?